This demonstration is an overview of the correlation bootstrapping applet, which can use to test for the significance of correlations from a small sample of subjects. So in this case, let's say that we've had 16 subjects take the IAT for old versus young people. Right? So we're trying to see whether is there an association between their IAT score, saying whether they have a strong preference for young people or a strong preference for old people, and some other measure like their scores on a survey testing how much they have negative attitudes towards older populations. In this case, let's say that they took the age IAT and a three represents a strong preference for young people, while a negative three represents a strong preference for old people. And zero represents you're neutral, you don't have strong feelings one way or the other. You don't have any preference. And let's say for these survey questions, for each subject, we average the scores for a Likert scale. So in other words, maybe they took uh, five or six questions and they responded to questions that had to do with negative attitudes towards old people. A sample question might be, I have very negative attitudes towards old people seven being strongly agree and one being strongly disagree and other questions related to that same theme. So the idea is we're trying to see whether we can find a correlation between our survey questions and their IAT scores because presumably if this survey question uh, battery or cluster is all focused on negative attitude negative attitudes towards old people and those same subjects tend to score highly in their preference for young people maybe what's driving that score is this predominantly negative attitudes towards older populations. So for each subject you'll have an IET score and then their mean of their survey questions surrounding a, cer a certain theme. Okay and we have 16 pairs of scores make sure each row is a single subject. Once we have that, we can go ahead and if you're in demo mode, click step to produce this graph right here. So again, this is resampling with replacement. So in other words, we might sample the same subject twice. In this case, we only have 11 data points, even though there are 16 subjects, because a few of them might be sampled more than once. Okay, so once you have that, you have an R value representing the correlation between our IAT score and the survey question. And once you click step again, that R value, that correlation coefficient, is plotted down here in a histogram. So as you gather more and more, it's going to again resample with replacement and plot those regression, or sorry, correlation coefficients in this histogram down here. And this gray box once again represents your 95% confidence interval or where 95% of those resamples are falling. Once you're ready to do the whole thing, just click on research mode, use correlation coefficient, and then click graph. So we can see that this blue line representing zero is outside of our 95% confidence interval, and thus we would say that the correlation between these two measures, the IT score and the survey questions, is statistically significant.